Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites or my current favorites. I have quite a few products that are really wowing me from eyeshadow palettes to hair care to skin care, stuff that I probably wouldn't have tried, but some of the things you guys recommended, so I wanted to talk about all them today. If you are new here, I would love for you to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you love beauty videos, my channel is kind of all about beauty. I am trying to get into some more fashion or some more like maybe fashion hauls. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know down below. And also I did change my hair up a little bit. I got rid of the brown underneath. I was just kind of over it. So we bleached that out and I also kind of have like a root shadow now. It's just going to be easier to maintain and I won't have to bleach my roots for probably three or four months. It'll just kind of give my roots a break, even though it's fine to bleach them because we just bleach the regrowth. Anyways, I just wanted to address it if you were thinking something looked a little bit different, that is what it is. So I'm gonna stop rambling and get into my favorites. So my first favorite of the month is something that I've been using for quite a while, way before I even started YouTube, and I am partnering with Scentbird for this portion of the video. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that basically allows you to try a bunch of different scents, very high-end niche brands that are very pricey, and you get the size of a roller ball, but it comes in a spray, and that is a huge thing to note. I don't really like roller balls. I find them to be kind of annoying. I like to have a spray. So when you get your perfume every month, it comes in a little cute kind of velvet velvet case like this and then you just pull it out and this is the component that you will get. They have all different colors and you just twist it up and there you have the nozzle to spray the perfume. So if you want to change out perfumes you just pick this out kind of just slides right out and then you can put a different one in and then slide it down and I do like that it does that as well because when you're um, kind of traveling or you have it in your purse it's not going to spray in your purse. So that's the reason that it kind of pops up up and down. So that's just how you use the component. You can choose your scent, which is another huge thing for me. I don't really like to kind of take a gamble. I like to try a lot of new scents, but I know what I like and I know the notes that I like. So you can check their website. They have over 450 scents and you can choose exactly what scents will be sent to you every month. I love to try perfumes from like Prada, Gucci, Nest. Uh, they have so many different high-end brands. They even have Glossier, which I thought was kind of cool. Everybody's body is different. So you might smell a perfume in store and then put it on and buy it. And then you get home and you're like, oh, I don't like the way that smells on me. And then you've kind of committed to the expensive price. So I have always supported Semperd. They actually do have some new stuff. They have some lip balms, they have candles, they have body scrubs. You're also able to change it out. So if one month you're not feeling a scent and you kind of have a lot of perfumes, you can choose a candle instead. So you have options in terms of what you want to receive. And also you can upgrade. So if you want two or three products, you can upgrade and you can mix and match. So you might want like a lip balm, a perfume and a candle and you can do that. So the two scents I got this month that really stood out to me was first from Nest. This is Black Tool look and this has like pink pepper in it it has like a warm it's like a warm floral but it's really sexy and sophisticated but still not like tart or giving me like a headache some of those kind of more sophisticated scents can give me a headache and this one definitely doesn't it kind of warms up with your skin it's very very warm and then actually my favorite is glossier you I didn't even know they carried Glossier perfume and it smells literally just like a better version of yourself. It really warms up to the skin. I don't even know what the notes, like how I would describe it. It just smells like a fresh, like warm you. It kind of just really works with your skin. I'm not sure how to describe it. I guess that's probably why they call it Glossier You. It just works for everybody and everybody's gonna smell a little bit different with it. So those are my two favorites. And then they also do now carry the Commodity line which is a really high-end brand from Sephora. So if you wanna try out the commodity perfumes, it's a perfect way to do so because these are a lot more affordable than buying the full size. So I have a 30% off a link and also a code for you guys. I will have it linked down below in the code on the screen for your first month of Scentbird, which really is gonna make it 10 bucks. So it's a great deal. If you've never tried it, highly, highly recommend. And as I said, you can kind of look over the website and find any perfume that you maybe have been eyeing that's super pricey and you wanna try. It's like the perfect way to do it. Okay, a big favorite of mine for the past couple of months has been the new Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I purchased this, actually I went to purchase it when it came available and it sold out in like two minutes and I was like, what? I was so mad. Just because usually his stuff sells out maybe in an hour or two and I wasn't anticipating that. Uh, so I did do the, I think it's like the pre-sale that he did immediately and it took about a month to get here. So this is what the inside of it looks like. I have to say the packaging is just super cool, very different. Um, it can be a little bit bulky, but that doesn't bother me. And I feel like it's safe in here if I were to travel with it. I feel like it's housed really nicely. 
and these shades I'm just telling you they blend phenomenally that's really the reason obviously I really like the shades and you can kind of go really red and like vampy and purple but I really think like these two shades are standouts in terms of every day you've got kind of that peachy shade for your crease or just that neutral tan shade these blend like a dream and I know I hear people say that all the time and I'm kind of like mm, some shadows some days I feel like I'm having like an issue but whenever I use this palette, it's just like effortless. It just blends so perfectly. I think it really stands out to me because there are so many mattes. So you could use these mattes however you see fit and then you could throw like a Stila on your lid. I feel like that's what everybody's kind of doing lately is the real glittery lid with the matte shades and I think it's great. I just really love this palette. So really, really think he killed it on the formula. I think it's better than any other shadows that I've tried from him. I, I think I've tried all of his palettes and I feel like they were all good, but this one, the just the mattes, the blending of the mattes was just, it blew my mind. My next favorite is something that really wowed me and I cannot stop using it. This is the new bronzer from IT Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Pores bronzer. Something about the color and the way this blends on the skin is phenomenal. It's in the shade Beach. I just dropped a little thing that comes with it. Now I'm not sure if she has other shades. That's one thing about IT Cosmetics is they need to get on it and do better in terms of like their shades. But it is the most beautiful, it almost looks satin when I'm looking at it. It just gives you the like perfect summer glow if you're in my skin tone. So obviously, as I said, if you are super deep, it's going to be too light for you and they need to do better. I've noticed that they're just not good with that. I will say it has a lot of kick up and I've noticed that, but it just blends perfectly on the skin. It has just the right amount of sheen to give you that sun-kissed look really really a standout product i know people rave about the marc jacobs coconut bronzer which i do like um that one's very light and forgiving you kind of have to build it up build it up build it up this one is just like one swipe and you're like a sun goddess i've really been enjoying this i don't think it really does anything for pores it doesn't accentuate them but i'm not sure like i don't really have pores around these areas you know so i don't really notice but the color is just heaven. In conjunction with the bronzer, I've been adoring this brush. This is from Real Techniques, and this is the Duo Fiber Face Brush. I use this for the bronzer, and it just works perfectly. I literally just sweep it, you know, kind of like that three motion around my face. I don't even contour anymore most days, and this brush is just perfect. Super affordable. I'm sure you can pick this up at Ulta or Walmart. I'm not even sure where I got this, but this is a perfect bronzing brush if you want like that sun-kissed look and it's super affordable. So I wanted to mention this because this and the bronzer have been kind of like my two that I use together and it just looks so nice and like sun-kissed. So definitely been loving this. Next up, I have a skincare product that I did not think to try. I actually got it in PR. And I was like, well, you know, less is more sometimes for me. I can't be slathering like a ton of stuff on my skin because my skin is irritated and like I have rosacea and I can break out. So when I got this, I thought like, oh, I'll just give it in a giveaway or I'll donate it. And I had so many of you guys snapping me saying that it was like one of your holy grail products. And I was like, wait. So I looked it up and it had like crazy good reviews. So I decided to take the plunge and I am in love. This is the Lancome Advanced uh, Genifique, I think that's what it's called, Serum Youth Activating Concentrate. This is an amazing product. It is so nice because it's lightweight, it doesn't break me out, it doesn't irritate my skin. I can apply it before bed and before my makeup. It works well under makeup and I just feel like it evens your tone and keeps your skin looking nice. I just really, really like it. So thank you to you guys for telling me on Snapchat that you really love this. I mean, I literally had, I wanna say like over 10 snaps of you guys saying it's amazing, it's amazing. Not one person said anything bad. So you guys swayed me and I definitely see the hype. It is pricey, but it is worth it. I just feel like it evens the tone on my skin and just keeps everything looking nice and smooth and it hydrates without like being greasy. Really, really enjoying this. If you're on the fence looking for a serum that you can use day and night that is gentle but effective, this is a good one. Moving on to a primer that is an oldie but a goodie and I find myself reaching for a lot now that we are going into the summer months. So this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter, the purple one. I do not like, they had like a champagne one and I do not like that one. For some reason, this one just works so nicely. It's so lightweight and it just gives you like a nice glow under your makeup. It's very similar to the Farsali Unicorn Essence in my opinion in the way that they work. They're just light 
nice. They have a little bit of glitter or I don't want to say glitter, a little bit of glow to them. They give you like a hydrated base and then you can go over them with a matte foundation or a dewy foundation, whatever you prefer. So really, really like this. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't irritate me. It sits beautifully under makeup. It's an oldie, but it's something I keep drop top drawer and I don't think I've mentioned. So I just wanted to mention it because it is one of my go-to kind of radiant primers. A new hair care product that I wanted to mention to you guys for anyone that wants to kind of get some brass out of their hair, tone their hair, blondes. If you're having issues and you have that yellow tinge, first of all, try a purple shampoo. They're all different. Some of them you can leave them on for a minute. Some of them you can leave it on for five minutes. So you just kind of have to see how much toning you want to do. But if you want to take all of that out of it and have an easier way, IGK has this new product that I think is really cool and innovative. This is the Mixed Feelings Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. So when you take the cap off, it just has this little, um, I don't know, dropper, and then there's a little kind of push button on the bottom and you just drop it, kind of like food coloring or something, you just drop it. So what I do with this is you shower as normal, do whatever you need to do, and when your hair is wet, use like a leave-in conditioner. So any kind of leave-in conditioner, any kind of mousse, anything that you work through your hair when it's wet, I just put a couple pumps in my, um, like the palm of my hand, and then I take three to four drops of this, mix it together. This is very purple, but when you mix it with your leave-in, it just becomes like a pastel and you just run it through your hair and it's like instant. So you can see, okay, it's a little bit too purple or it's not purple enough and then you can keep adding it. So I just think this takes all of the guessing out of it in terms of how long do I leave it on in the shower? What if it grabs in certain areas? This is just like a nice, easy way. If you're struggling and you're afraid of purple shampoo and you don't want something to stain your hair, this is like wash out, so it's one time and you're done. So I really like it. I think it's really innovative and easy for people that are just kind of afraid of the whole purple shampoo situation. As you know, I love IGK, so if you're a blonde and you just feel like your hair's so brassy and yellow, this would be a product to try. Another product that I have been loving, I purchased from the JLo and Inglot line, and I have to say, the whole thing was kind of underwhelming for me except for this one product. Probably the only product that I keep top drawer from what I purchased. I just thought that the lipsticks were kind of so-so, the glosses were so-so. I just wasn't that impressed, but this is stunning. You could use it on your decollete as I have. You can use it all over your face. This is what it looks like. It is very intense. It is a loose shimmer. So I just use like, an, like a highlighting brush with a little bit of Fix Plus to grab on and then use it on my face or my chest. This is a beautiful, super, super glowy. If you're going for that super J-Lo bronzy glowy look, this is perfect. So if I had to recommend anything from the line, it would be this. Everything else I think you could kind of live without to be quite honest. I think it was a little bit of a dud and I'm hoping for the next kind of launch because I know they're doing more products. I'm hoping that they have more products that are a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more like J-Lo. Because when you think of J-Lo, you think of like bronzy and glowy, but I don't think of natural makeup per se. I think of bronzy, glowy, shimmery, you know, and I think this product really hit the nail on the head. Another highlighting product that is really standing out to me is this new Mali um, Highlighting Trio. Now this is interesting because it has soft, medium, and strong highlighters. The soft one is a cream, and then the medium is more like a golden color, and the strong is more like a white gold. These are the swatches. I have to say, when I use this, it looks wet. It's very similar in the way that it looks on the skin to the Tom Ford Duo, the sheer highlighting duo that I recommended in my VIB. It is absolutely stunning. This is available at Ulta, and I did receive this in PR. And I thought, oh, it's just going to be like a normal highlight. And it just really stands out to me. I just think it's super pretty on the skin if you want that really glowy, wet look. But you don't like a powdery um, look. Sometimes highlighters can be very powdery. And I hate that. And this does not have that at all. So really enjoying this. Um, out of the products that they sent, this was a standout for me. I actually have another highlighting palette to show you guys. And this is a more affordable option. I worked with Lottie London on an Instagram video and fell in love with this product. And this is their Powder Highlighting Quad Shimmer Squad. And I think they have a more colorful one, but this is the neutral one. And I have to say, these are stunning. If you use a wet brush, they again give you that really wet look. This is very similar to the Morphe Bretman Rock um, highlighting palette. So when you swatch them, you might think, oh, they're a little bit powdery, but when you meld them into the skin, they don't look powdery on the skin. Here are the swatches. So you do get four shades. You have kind of like a champagne pink, 
an icy white, a neutral gold, and then a bronzy shade. So I feel like this would work for a lot of different skin tones because if you're deeper skin tone, you can kind of go with these two, and if you're lighter, you can go with these two. So really a standout product. After I really fell in love with it, I looked it up on Ulta, and people are saying the same as me, so I was like, okay. Sometimes I do that. If I'm really loving a product, I'm like, let me go see what people are thinking. Like, is it just me, or is this amazing? And everybody was raving about it. It's a crazy good price point. So if you're on a budget, or if you just want some kick-ass highlighters, um, nice little palette that you can travel with. This is a great option. All right, guys, so that is it for my current monthly favorites. Let me know down below what products have been standing out to you. Obviously, I've been wearing a lot of highlighters, so that's kind of what I've been trying the most and been very impressed. Again, let me know what new products you're excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.